we shall begin. But as we've been doing uh, over the last few weeks, we're going to talk a, a little bit of toys ahead of time. Uh, any uh, treasures you guys have uh, come across or acquired or, in Mark's case, printed? Or for you too, Jay, you're a printer extraordinaire as well. So anything new, guys? I didn't print anything, but I found a good clearance item. Oh, yeah, always clearance. Oh, there you go. Look, repackaged. I'm 99% sure it's not repackaged. Oh. If it is, I want to know who repackaged it. But yeah. $8.39. There you go. Now, are those reaction figures or what are those? Yeah, the reaction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, I dove into a little bit of that. I've got uh, some Back to Future, Back to the Future guys like that, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, so I want for twenty dollars I want that big on them. Yeah. But for eight dollars and thirty nine cents, I you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Twenty eight dollars to eight thirty nine. It's a big difference. So. Yeah. Well man, I uh added to um my collection this week. I guess it was it's probably been about two months ago. I posted in the group, I was trying to finish out something. Um I've got all the Star Wars um movie glasses, you know, that came out with Burger King years ago uh, i was really excited to finish that run but for the longest time i just had like a couple of the um uh superman uh original superman movie ones um in fact i used to have like four but i was uh serving as a student minister in in franklin tennessee and one day the students decided they wanted to do dodgeball in the youth room well my office was like right off the side and the dodgeball went in my office and shattered two of them and I was mm. just, I was broken hearted and I just, I never, honestly, I never really got back around to feeling it. So I just had two of them in my collection, my Superman stuff. Well, a couple months ago, I was like, man, I really want to finish that run. And I didn't realize there's six of them total. So mm. I finally was able to do it. So here's a couple of them. These are just such super cool glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is 1978. They put out by Pepsi. Uh, this one's uh, Lois Lane is saved by her hero. Uh, but it just, you know, scenes from the movie and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I like that one a lot. And then here's another one. There's, like I said, there's six. I want to show you a couple of them, but this one's pretty cool. Superman on it, Lois. There's old Clark and Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Barry over here. But yeah, uh, just really neat just to add those to the, the collection and some of my Superman stuff over there. But I was excited to kind of finish <laughs> that out, so. What about you, Jay? Any any gold mines or anything you come across this past week or so in the last few weeks? Uh, yeah. Good one. Oh, yeah. Um, no toys or anything like that. Go ahead. But, you know, I did I did get another golden key Scooby-Doo. Oh, you did? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I've been trying to finish that line for a long, long time, and I, I got one uh, today that I, I had – you know, they make them uh, in Carlton and uh, another under another title, too. And I had one kind of like a placeholder, but I got the it's on the pool table. But I did get the gold key version of it just came in the mail today. So I was pretty psyched about that. Oh, mail call today. then. All right. Yeah. Ellis is going to grab it. So <laughs> a little teamwork happening there. But, yeah. Uh, Oh, Shaz it's, says over on his side, he says, there's nine Landos still swinging on the pegs for three years around his neck. Probably more than that. It <laughs> yeah, might be, right. it might be maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's there's a mix of Landos, Black Series, and uh, Vintage Collection in our neck of the woods, as well as some some newer stuff showing up as well, which has been interesting. Yeah, so, there's actually some decent stuff showing up around here too, but. Yeah, I'm I'm still trying to resist the urge, like I told you the other day, to stay away from the micro galaxy stuff. <laughs> I like it, but I'm just like, uh, I don't have anywhere for that stuff. I saw the ad ad at Walmart, and I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so awesome! If if they come out with some of the ships from Ahsoka, I'm going to be in trouble. So, <laughs> I, I'd like to have uh, T6. I'd like to have some of those, so. but. But yeah, so you said it's a golden key Scooby. The, the suspense is killing us, man. Oh, here it is. All right. It's gold key is the the ones that let them out. Yeah, there's 30 in this run, and I think this one's number 20. They don't number them or anything. Gold key is just, I love uh, 
the, the colors that they use and the covers and it's number 25, June 1974. And it's beat. I mean, it's it's a beat up reader. Yeah. The covers just hanging on. But it's hard to find uh, out for less than like 40 or 50 bucks. I ended up, I got, I think I got this one for like $9 just because of its condition or something. And it was a, it was an auction. So I just kind of found it in the last, I think it was like the last 20 minutes, but it's, it's in rough shape, but I'm super happy to have it. Oh man. Yeah. And so you said there was only 30 total in the line. So that's around 20. Yeah. This is 25 of 30 in the run. I don't know if you saw the post, but I got number one six or seven months ago. Wow. Um, it's so hard to get at a at a, a reasonable price. I didn't mm-hmm. even consider what I got it for reasonable, to be honest. But <laughs> in comparison to what they go for, it was a good, good deal. Yeah, sometimes we, we do unreasonable things for the things we love. <laughs> we do <laughs> we do we do well there hadn't been a whole lot of reveals on uh uh as far as new stuff were you gonna say something mark i, I thought i saw you fixing uh-huh. to say something no, I'm just kidding. all right uh so this came out and i think i posted in the group the uh this two-pack that's coming out with a star wars vintage collection you know originally i'd said no but the more i look at that vader i'd really like to have that vader <laughs> it's, it's, that is so cool. Uh, the showdown. Um, you know, I could take it or leave the Obi Wan, but that Vader with that that mask, and I, I've seen some other images where it comes off, and it's just uh, such a cool figure. But I think the set's like forty bucks, though. I I can't do that. <laughs> I may have to yeah. buy him by himself on the second secondary market or something. But what about you, Jay? Are you in on this? No, no. Uh, you've, I'm kind of straying away from the uh, vintage collection, and I'm kind of focusing just on the uh, GI Joe classified and Black Series. Okay, just so staying with the six inch scale. Every it seems like everyone else is going towards the vintage collection and leaving Black Series six inch. I'm there you go. Going, so that's more for you. I hope so, <laughs> but I really like the six inch style. I remember I, I was talking about for years before classified come out with Rob. I was like, man, we got to start printing six inch scale. GI Joes, and then they started making them, and <laughs> I was God. hoping we could make a way too long. Yeah. Up, you know what I mean? But <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, you're not into this though, are you? Are you out on stuff like this? Yeah, I mean, I like the Vader, but yeah, so like I posted, yeah, you know, group. I'm just I'm about over new stuff. Yeah, I mean, the new stuff is just so expensive because you know, just a single card is what 17 bucks now. Oh yeah. And then the Black Series is 25, 26. Well, the Deluxe are like 30 something. So, yeah. Uh, yeah well, and you I'm, guys probably I'm, saw I'm, what the new uh, Has Lab as well, I bet. So, let's see if we can pull up the old giant man. I talked to my buddy Steve about it, and he was, he was like, nah, I'm out. And then he was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. He says, what, what can I sell? So, uh, yeah, I'm, there it is. 30, 39 days left. I think it's got to get, uh, what, 8,000 backers? No, 10,000. I don't think it's going to make it. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of time, and there's a lot of Marvel things. Mark, you're, well, both of you guys are comic guys. So you really think, Jay, it may not make it? I don't know. The last day always seems to, I can't believe how the ghost went up on the very last day and and and, you know, unlocked all of the figures. I didn't think there was any way at all it was going to get to Zeb, yeah. but it did. So maybe it will. It just seems like it's going along at a at a snail's pace, and it's honestly not that cool. Yeah, it's got. I think Steve was talking about the multiple faces. He really likes that. So um, two hundred dollars. It's not too terribly bad. But this guy's what I think two foot tall. So be interested to see. <laughs> I mean, that is neat having yeah. a two foot tall figure, but uh-huh. this isn't exactly one of my i mean if that was like spider-man or i get that it's giant man so it's kind of the scale but what would you be interested if it was ant-man instead and it yeah. came with like a standard size and then this size yeah i might and then a small size yeah see ellis yeah that'd be the best thing right 
Yeah. The, so. three, the three, you could unlock all three of them or something. And oh, yeah. Go- oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah they haven't revealed maybe, any yeah. tears or anything of this guy. I don't know if there is any or not. Or is that the faces, I guess? I'm not sure. So, all right. All right, last thing, and then we'll jump I into guess. why we're all here and excited. Let's check over the Facebook side. They're probably just telling us, let's just talk about Ahsoka, all right? Stop talking about toys, for Pete's sake. What is this, Chewie's Cantina? Oh, wait, yes, it is. Uh, oh, let's see, we got some comments over here. Ten Am says, I have the Vader with the removable mass and hands and two types of light. Amazing. Go find in the wild. Okay. And Shaz says, the Cobra Hiss looked really cool. Did anyone get it? Uh, you're waiting on yours, aren't you, Jay? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you and Jim are get went in and gotten two and waiting on those come in. Yep. All right, this last one this this is a little yeah, bit out of our wheelhouse, but I don't know. I know there may be some crew, uh, in some in the crew uh, canteen that may like these. What do you think? You guys ever get into the sports figures? I know Mark showed me some old school starting lineup a couple of weeks ago uh mcfarland showed these off this week uh nfl uh players here Holmes looks pretty cool with his his little uh his coat on Mm -hmm. yeah i used to customize those oh really i got too expensive yeah uh... it used to be you could get a bulk of them like i get 40 of them for Mm -hmm. maybe 12 bucks loose wow and then flip them and sell them for about a hundred dollars a piece and you would just customize them to other players and stuff yeah i i did that with some baseball ones just for myself like i took uh i think one time i took a fonzo soriano and made it into ozzy smith i mean mm-hmm. i think i took a miguel tejada changed him to lou brock i mean yeah. i mean they're all cardinals of course well, i mean that that's how i started because i was like i don't want to pay that to do it i'll just teach myself how to do it and i did it and then i was like yeah maybe i'll sell some <laughs> the super cool figures uh so i don't know what the, i guess his price point may be around 20 bucks like his other stuff i'm not sure so no, I think those are about 25, I think. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Now, Jay, do you do any sports figures or are you more? No. No, no, I, I don't have any at all. Um, but they they look better than I thought they were going to. I've never seen these before. Um yeah, that's they, 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 throw some Patriots players up there and you're all on it, right? Yeah, I was gonna say if you got TB twelve up there, I mean I'm, I'm sure there's been some that. in the past. I don't know if they're the same quality as this because this is kind of the next gen kind of stuff of it. Because I think they stopped. I may be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of the starting lineup just now started back up because McFarland's been going at it for a while. But I don't know if he took a break or what. But uh, I know some of the other folks would, would know better. All right, we lose. Mar- He's going to get one of his custom ones, I think, to show us. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking he was going to get something cool to show us. Yeah. That's Check over on the you. Facebook side while he's doing that. Let's see here. Uh, Shaz says he got the Black Hole Vincent, Bob, and Max Million. Okay. Three and three quarter scale. Nice. All right. The Mark, did you go get something to show off or you just took a break for a moment? Yeah, no, I did. Yeah. All right. What so, you got, man? I think probably six, seven years ago, they used to make 12 inch figures. Okay. The football ones. And so I did a. Derrick Henry one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's right. You're up in Middle Tennessee. Yep. Dude, and that is cool. I had him sign it. Oh. Yep. So have so, they made one of him yeah. since then? Like even a six inch scale? Uh, I'm, maybe. Yeah. But that was uh, Ladainian Tomlinson. Oh, so you took a. Yeah, uh, with Damian Thomason and tra- change it. Oh, nice. Yep. That's Sweet, it. dude. Yeah, I'll... Uh... That's one I won't sell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you can't sell that one. And if he gets traded, I'll strip it down and paint it. Yeah, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's why they lost. I didn't give him the ball enough someday. That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Ready for our episode rundown of Ahsoka Chapter 5 Shadow Warrior shadow warrior um i have to say this right out of the gate um there's been parts in the series where i thought maybe the point of entry was maybe a little high uh, as far as uh you know if you didn't watch clone wars if you didn't watch rebels if you didn't watch out you couldn't really figure it out 
but I, I feel like they've done a good job of not keeping that where they well like for this week when we came in you know started off in the world between worlds is like okay how much explaining they're gonna have to do uh you know they really haven't said who Hera's little son her son is uh but I thought this episode they did a good job of making it accessible to everybody they didn't dive too deep in the world between worlds and then you know then who Wang just uh who Yang does the uh or Wu Tang, whatever we came up with last week, Wu Tang in the uh, Cyborg Club, uh, the, he came up with a good explanation of, of who Jason was for the, the the novices watching at home. So, so I feel like the accessibility is better now that we've kind of got deeper into the the series. So, um, so what's your early reviews of what? I guess give us a te- hey guys, give us a teaser on what you thought about this episode before we dive into it. I know where Jay's at. I didn't get that. Oh my phone! Like- no, I don't want to talk to my watch. Pulling a Dick Tracy over here, trying to tell about a secret mission. So what? <laughs> what did you think, Jay? Were you like over the moon with this episode? You there, Jay? You got us. Oh yeah, you were saying me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I, I know the answer, but I'll give our our listeners and those in the cantina a chance to hear your your initial response. Yeah, I mean, to me, it was the best episode of all Star Wars TV that, that's ever come. So that's setting the bar uh, pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it went everywhere. It was all over the place, and it, I, you know, everyone knows, or most people know that. Ahsoka is one of my very favorites. Uh, uh, I love the character, and to see her as a as a, a youngling again, see her with Anakin again. Those guys seemingly get along, although he was some sort of weird lesson teaching ghost or whatever. But um, to see them and the you know the Battle of Mandalore, and to see them fighting when they first met together with you know in real real tv with clones and the whole situation that it was where he was teaching her how to fight and i thought it seemed to me like how to go and defeat these guys and then the coolest thing about rebels was ezra's relationship with the whales Mm. and then to have fly inside the thing and shoot off i don't know man it was just everything you want uh just short of an hour to be on star on tv as far as star wars goes for me Nice. All right. So, Mark, where where are you at? The, your initial initial feedback here. I know we're going to unpack it. But... Uh, yeah, I felt I don't know a little bit of a letdown after the fourth part. Okay. Uh, I just felt the fourth part was a little bit. I mean, I know they're different, like sure types of story, but for them to hype and push that episode five was the best one and. Everybody was so excited about it, and then I don't know. I guess there was a bunch of hype to it, and mm-hmm. I, guess I expected more after last week. So I mean, that could be on me. Okay. How many times have you seen it, Mark? I know you usually watch them quite a few. Just the one time. Oh, just one. Okay. All right. So that may go into another yeah, question. Because I'm, I'm not even sure. Like, they were I didn't realize they were hyping episode five. I didn't see anything about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, they had on um, theaters and all kinds of stuff. Yes. They played it in theaters. Yeah, yeah. select theaters. Yeah. yeah. It was part of, I think they were calling it like a Soka fan appreciation, like for the halfway mark of the series. Oh, yeah. So. But, wow. I didn't realize that. But, yeah. Uh, I, go ahead. I was going to say it too. I mean, I, I've heard that that may not even been the world between worlds. Yeah. You know, it definitely was, looked like it from Rebels, but you didn't right. see the portals or whatever. Right. right. I was thinking that when we were watching it, I was like, where are all the portals at? Yeah. 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 Which could be a good, you know good in between for like you said the people that haven't mm-hmm. seen all that and enough for us to go okay that's what that is you know yeah. without yeah. having to over explain it yeah I, i'm kind of like you i really really love four part four i don't know how many times i watched it yeah. and the first time i watched this one i really enjoyed the first half you know the world between wars the time of the anakin and then i was like eh. and then i watched it again i was like okay I like it more. And then I watched it half of the first half of it. And I was like, <laughs> kind of really listening to the dialogue with Anakin and Ahsoka. I was like, okay, you you got me. I'm still like four more, but I like this episode yeah. a whole lot. What uh, about him flashing into Darth Vader? With, oh with, my like, goodness, that was so cool. Was I was cool. trying, I wish I could get a screen grab of that. Yeah. Dude, that was just that was crazy. And did y'all um, catch that that was um the actor that played uh Baby Gamora? 
that was Ahsoka. Oh, are you for real? Yeah, because I looked at it, I was like, that's Gamora, and I had to Google, and I was like, sure was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Just kind of keeping it in the, I guess, the sci-fi yeah. genre. Yeah. Uh, it, it was interesting, because, you know, we met last week, did this, and, you know, we, where we were left off with her in the World Between Worlds, and we're all just, all these theories are running through our heads and all that jazz. And I, you had sent that link to that video or told me about that video with Dave Filoni in that interview. And that really kind of helped me prepare for this week. <laughs> that it's not about time travel. It's not about all that. But it's really the world between the world is is what you bring to it. It's kind right. of its, its own, its own the, deal. Yeah. So like for her, that's what she needed. Where Ezra, he needed what he got and, or whatever. Yeah. Like the cave uh, on Dagobah. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um uh just like that yeah that's a great point uh, but so that helped me kind of look at it and say okay was there going to be time well you know these are just visions essentially that that she had but obviously there was there's something to learn from it so um so we open up we're at the hinge or the ruins or whatever you got Hera walking out there with a her blaster ready i don't know what she's gonna hit or shoot but i got I don't know. Maybe it's just as a parent. I felt this way. Maybe you guys can identify. I was the same way. I, I turned and said to my wife, I was like, oh, yeah, come on out, Jason. There were two mystic ancient yeah. <laughs> uh, warriors battling with laser swords here 11 yeah. minutes ago. But for sure, just hide behind Chopper. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mom, can I come out now? <laughs> and then they left them there. They're like, we're going to go stroll the ocean for Ahsoka. You just oh, no. hang out here. <laughs> I was like, and we all know Chopper's not that reliable. Okay, okay, let's just be real. Oh, he would have just flown off. He would have been like, later. <laughs> and he's at the very edge of this thing, you know? <laughs> Standing yeah. at a precipice of death. Yeah. All our kids are like, don't dangle your feet. Back away from the edge. He's like, Jason, could you get down there and like really listen to the water? Get closer. Get to the very edge. <laughs> Stand on your tippy toes and lean out over <laughs> the ledge. Great. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it was kind of neat, though, in the midst of that, you know, he's out there listening and they're trying to figure it out. And Carson Teva shows up and he drops uh, Senator Organa, who's basically covering for you. I mean, she's only can buy so much time. I was like, okay, nice. Leia's involved in this. I like that nod. I like that a lot. So. Why she covering though? It seemed like just moments later they sent a fleet there to get them. You know what I mean? Make them come back. They must have already been on the way. She wasn't really covering. Oh, wait! Come on, man! Don't be <laughs> doubting the integrity of Princess Leia or Senator Leia. It was out of her hands. The Chancellor was involved. Ma, uh, Mon Mothma, you know, she's getting, you know, pulled this way and that way by all these knuckleheads. Come on! Don't give Leia any shade. Come on. <laughs> i'm keeping my shade i'm throwing it <laughs> throw it throw it liberally i see yeah. uh, well let's talk about what we want to talk about and that's the world between wards war world between world sequences holy moly just super coolness <laughs> i saw somewhere um online this was basically dave filoni's love letter to clone wars fans or something like that it was just yeah. oh so good it was so good um, the way the mall Mandalorians looked, oh, it yeah. was. I was like, "Where are all those?" I, I have like seven of them. Uh, Black series one, you know what I mean? I'm like, I have, what? I have one in my brother's one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you that you know, it's a good episode when it wants you to go start finding your action figures. You know, <laughs> start digging them out. I need to build a diorama just like the scene I saw <laughs> right now. I can't sleep until I find it and make it happen. And Mark's over there printing terrain, you know, for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> do whatever we do what you gotta do, man, to make it happen. So <laughs> yep. Yep. um but what about if they use I was maybe jumping ahead, but oh, go ahead. I almost feel like they use the world between worlds as a red herring. Hmm. Because you and I both last week were like, that's how she's getting where they're at. And right. the whole time we've seen the purgles, they're on the planet the whole time. So yeah. it's just kind of like, that's how they're going to get there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, th I think before, like I said, that Filoni video, I was thinking, yeah, she'll get there through the world between, she'll go through a portal. Mm -hmm. 
but again it made it really seem like no this is just her consciousness which is like the world between worlds and that's different for everybody um but then of course you're like at the end is like oh yeah there are those purgles yeah. right up above yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. how they get there oh so there's like a thousand of yeah. them too I know. And yeah when the size of the titanic shows up yeah and... I, know. Like, I think that's a big one <laughs> oh yeah oh you yeah. think <laughs> it's ginormous yeah so we see uh before she starts having the visions before we get you know um into 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 that uh you know anakin's there you know we saw the end of last episode you know hey snips you're here before i thought or something like that i didn't expect to see you so soon mm-hmm. um it says you know it's time to finish your training you know to live or die and uh well, that line man when she says it she goes i I won't fight you. And he's like, well, I've heard that before. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, nice. <laughs> so, so sure enough, and maybe you guys are like me for this whole series. I have been going back to rebels, going back to Clone Wars, going back to the prequels, going back to the original trilogy. I've not been going to the sequels, but that's a different story. <laughs> so, but I've just, it's been so good as just a, a refresher. And again, I, I guess it is kind of the love letter thing just reminding you why you love star wars in a lot of ways um and it's 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 been it's been good it's been really good um but so the last person we we know of course was uh luke to say that uh to to anakin as vader and and return the jedi so i just thought it was cool you know obviously his his son but this is essentially you know not biologically but through the force his daughter uh that he's training uh you know his really his successor in the legacy as they say um so it was neat that she uttered that and of course he wields the saber and we get to see some some sweet lightsaber action golly mm-hmm. dude that that joker can spin it it was it was neat to see hayden christensen back out there at it so i was definitely impressive for sure that was pretty nice that was nice yeah, yeah I, I thought the de-aging looked a little bit better yeah this episode it did for sure. yeah yeah, I went back and watched uh, some Revenge of the Sith, uh, just trying to capture some stuff, and um, and man, he looks just like that. I was just like, it was just seamless. I was like, man, this is so good. <laughs> and I, I really, I'm looking forward to watching the prequels all over again, just with a new perspective, you know, this uh, of everything. So uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, so let's dive into the Vision One. How did you guys feel when you see that that uh? that fog or that cloud and all of a sudden here comes some clone troopers running right at you I mean, what was that like well i, I was, loved uh, it yeah loved it yes that's right all over you right yeah. it was cool. i thought it was going to be a stampede but it, i realized quickly at first i i didn't really know what they were going for there but Me neither. then you, you realize quickly that it's a battle and Mm-hmm. And the first of then, the then you realize that Ahsoka is a little girl instead of an adult, which was very cool for me. Yeah, it's the first time she's been a child in live action. Live action. Yeah. Did y'all did y'all think they did a good job as far as bringing, I guess, that the childish, not childish, I guess, the teenage Padawan uh, Ahsoka to live action? Well, or you think it was a? I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. 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 It was it was good, and I, I'm glad you pointed that out, Mark. I didn't realize she was uh, Gamora. And uh, yep, me neither. Yeah. Yep. Uh, did I. Yeah. We learned something new every day. We're hanging out together, I tell you. <laughs> so yeah, she's, she's, you know, and it's weird too because you know, obviously she's got the mature or the old Ahsoka's mind inside the little teenage girl's body, just trying to make sense of all that. <laughs> but then you get to see Anakin in his Clone Wars armor oh man that was cool yeah yeah that's that made me kind of regret uh selling the black series clone wars anakin i had not too long ago (laughs) that one that came out with the you know the exclusive cards had the obi-wan the anakin and they had some other clones with it i had it for a little while i was like ah i don't really know now i'm like oh man i want it back (laughs) so yeah there was like a pilot right yeah it was a pilot too Yeah. yeah that's I think they made me what target exclusives, I think. So you were on the, the white cars, yeah. The yeah. Like helmet shaped bubbles, yes. So, but we have some interesting dialogue with them, you know. Um, you know, she's trying to make sense of it and says, I don't understand. He's like, Yeah, that's your problem. 
and then they they fade into that uh that spot with the the soldiers area what you got mark what are you thinking oh i was just gonna say i i was having a hard time going is he speaking to her in the moment or is he speaking to her as a teaching like not a teaching moment but like i guess her as an adult you know you get what i'm saying right. like yeah yeah yeah, which yeah, seemed, like, seemed like it was flashing back from the the present to the past. Like, yeah, some part of it it was it was set in the moment of the siege of Mandalore, and others was all of a sudden them as adults again, kind of thing. Yeah, because yeah, I was going back and forth. I was like, was well, yeah, is he talking to her in that moment or talking to her and the world between worlds? You know, right? Yeah, um, yeah, trying to figure out which with what's real time and what's the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. Hey, I, with, that with that line about I don't understand, and he's like, "That's your problem." It's like mm -hmm. does it now or back then or yeah, oh <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, probably both. Um, trying to come to terms with it all, um, and he keeps coming back to that. You know, you can't basically you can't stop. You got to fight or die. You can't just you play, you can't play the middle ground. Uh, where she's like, you know, trying to. Uh, you know, lament over mistakes or leading people to, you know, as a, in a military type situation, leading people to their death by de making bad decisions, or whatever. But, you know, at the same time, you, you have to keep, keep moving forward and you can't just sit down and, and cry or sit yeah. down and, and stop. Um, um, so he, he kind of gives her that spill and then he kind of walks off into the battle scene. And there, that's when you get those first glimpses of Vader. It's just flashing, you know. Mm -hmm fire over here and all of a sudden it's like oh yeah even the color of the saber changed from yeah yeah that's right that was what, what about his eyes they weren't sith they were just they red. were for a little while towards the end when they went back to the world of worlds that had that red outline yeah. around they were but different yeah, it wasn't it was like the, the white of his eye were red mm -hmm. yeah they were but they went back when yeah. when Ahsoka and Helm started being cool again. He looked right. down for a while and came back up, and he just had yeah. his regular blue eyes again. Yeah, that is, yeah, that, and I guess you know, Jay, you kind of already took us there when they jump into that second vision, and you know, they're on the siege of Mandalore, and he shows up and he goes, I don't, I don't remember this, or I wasn't a part of this. He goes, Yeah, you weren't. We had already parted ways by then. I was like, Yeah, because yeah. we know what was happening in his life at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, and dude, I went back and I watched that because um, I guess that's season seven of clone wars and i think shaz even mentioned over in the chat about you know how he's gone back to that a lot but that season seven when they're coming down on mandalore and you know they're starting to be attacked by the uh, the mall malls uh, uh mandalorians and uh you know they're blowing up republic gunships and all this stuff and she looks at rex and she goes i'll, I'll race you to the surface and you know she's <laughs> jumping on ship to ship to get down there dude that is some of the best animation the best action stuff i've ever seen just watching it again and then you know putting that together with this vision uh that we saw in ahsoka man it was just uh it was just it was really cool really cool and uh, just the action and uh, just her her saber wielding techniques in the animation and then you you jump to her as uh you know in that context i do wish <laughs> they'd aged her a little bit because she didn't she looked like she just had different clothes on I, you know i wish she would look like a little older kind of like she does in animation i mean she definitely tell there's a a difference in when you first see Ahsoka in Clone Wars a movie and season seven. I wish there's something they could have done to make her look older, but that's I mean that's just you know that's nitpicking stuff. So, or yeah, I was gonna say something. I think I'm sorry. Hmm. No. I forgot now. <laughs> so you just talked uh, right over me. I totally forgot you. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, is that is that flashback? Is that what Balin was telling Sabine that? Oh, Ahsoka was responsible for her parents death i don't know that's a good question because i can't remember exactly what he said i know i got it oh, so she was leading if she was leading that yeah oh let's see and you got me looking at my notes from the last time we were <laughs> hanging out now i want to see that exact quote because you're right because yeah he's he's hating on ahsoka bad to uh yeah. to her uh Oh, your family died on Mandalore because your master didn't trust you. But okay. she, yeah, they wouldn't have been connected then. There's yeah, some some point they connect. They were around in rebels long after that siege. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Because they're 
I know we were trying to figure out the timeline, and that's one of the questions that still keeps coming out of this series is when is Ahsoka actually the first time around? What was when was she trying to train Sabine? It has to be during the original trilogy timeline or somewhere in there. Because Rebels, you know, brings us up to it. What about a year if if most before a new hope? Is that where Rebels ends? And then obviously the end of uh Rebels has that epilogue or whatever which shows you after Return of the Jedi. So sometime in between there is when they had to train uh, and then, you know, part ways and then come back to each other now. So, um, yeah, so something happened, I guess. And maybe you brought it up last time, Mark, was um, the Purge Mandalore or the Night of a Thousand Tears. Yeah. It was Moff Gideon. So maybe it was connected to that. Um, I'm hoping we get more of that story. I'm hoping that we do. I, I think we will. They're starting to answer questions, starting to put the pieces together for us um let's see what else uh oh so when uh in the mandalore scene and you know he's you know hey i wasn't there whatever and they're kind of having that interaction and um you know he tells her that she's part of his leg or he, she's a part of the legacy you know he learned from obi-wan she's learned from him part of the legacy uh and she said is that you know is a legacy of death and war and you know you know there's you know there's more to you than that and then she makes that snarky comment. Yeah, there's more to you. You know, people didn't realize how powerful and what is it, dangerous or whatever he was. Um, and then he just looks at her <laughs> and he's like, is that what this is about? And then boom, <laughs> later. Yeah. Well, he, and the way he said it, because I've heard it, I don't know if he said it before, but just his cadence and his voice, look in his face, it looked just like some of those interactions that he had with uh, Padme and um, Attack of the Clones and revenge of the sith where he just kind of looks at it out of the side of his eyes like what'd you say no oh, obi-wan's been here hasn't he? you know that kind of stuff and i was like oh and then you're right jay and he was like okay it's time for sith anakin you can mm-hmm. get it now i was like oh gosh turn the page so so that gave you a choice live or die and then that's when the lightsaber lights up <laughs> oh some crazy mess happening there so um so they battle it out uh and then he's you know she's got to make that decision I mean, he whips her and uh, then once they get on i guess back in the world between world side of things or the bridges or whatever you want to call it um you know she she bests him doing something i don't know how she managed to get the best of him uh but he she had him at the death blow and she chose to let him live he says i chose i choose to live and then he's like what was it uh there's hope for you yet or or whatever mm-hmm. like that so so i guess the question for you guys is that oh we got a lightsaber in the scene watch out jay's gonna take your head <laughs> oh it lights up man Dude, we're serious um so the question is at that moment does anakin is she finished i mean is her training done is she back is she officially a jedi now because she's she's never finished her training so essentially when she says i'm no jedi she's not i mean yes she's a padawan that kind of stopped her progress was that the end of her training you think there's still more to come he did say he was there to complete her training yeah, that's where it led off with the yeah. So she's officially I don't technically know. a Jedi now. No, I feel like it seems like there should be a little something more to it than yeah than all of that <laughs> stuff that went by, but I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. Do you think she's gonna well I guess the question another question, I I, I kinda hope so, as we work through the rest of the series, are we gonna get Anakin like voice prompts like Luke had Obi Wan? You know, and like Obi Wan has Qui Gon now. Or not now, but you know, in the Obi Wan series, man, I th- I think that'd be cool. Yeah. So, and uh, yeah, I don't know, I because I, I, there's definitely obviously a shift in her, not only from her appearance, but just her 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 mentality, everything. Is... She seemed a mite less jittery after yes. the encounter with Anakin. Yeah. Like, through the whole series, she's been it seems unsure and mm-hmm. a little. Just yeah. a little askew. Yeah, you know, you like know. he said as the uh Sith Anakin as he's charging her, he says, You lack conviction. And you know, he's big, he's way laden her. But mm-hmm. now, you know, there's she's definitely she's all in. Um, she's at I don't know if I, I don't know if you can say at peace, but she definitely seems like I mean she's always got a smile on her face. Uh, it seemed like. yeah. yeah. Even in these these situations, I'm like, I don't know if I'd be smiling. Your friend's still missing. Uh <laughs> Yeah, she's know. in the mouth of a giant whale and she has no idea where it's about to take her. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I thought she communed with the thing and, and, <laughs> like, and it was like, oh yeah, I know where to go. 
she was just like no i, I don't know <laughs> yeah, but but it was cool they said i don't know but at least it's you know we're going somewhere or we're, we're not what is it it's better oh better than no, going nowhere yeah, yeah it's powerful that yeah because that's what she was doing she was going nowhere until her time with anakin so how many people are going nowhere you know when you really think about it that's a strong message yeah, yeah. comfort <laughs> is the enemy of success you know what i mean there's a lot of us that get comfortable and just stay right there yeah when you can do so much more mm -hmm. but yeah. if they are jumping galaxies nowhere is in the mcu oh <laughs> you're gonna show up at the guardians of galaxies headquarters <laughs> If Groot, if Groot's in the next episode, I don't know. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then maybe Yoda shows up. Groot versus Grogu. Oh, that's have a, a, that's have a dance Groot, off. Yeah. Now on pay per view, I Groot versus stop. Baby Yoda. <laughs> Who will come out on top? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my baby Yoda wins. Yeah, oh, they're calling it. Baby Yoda wins. Okay, I got you. <laughs> well, he doesn't just use the force and boom, he wins. <laughs> oh man, that's the way to go for sure. So, I guess, uh, this is something that came to my mind, and, and this is probably way too, fa too far gone. But do you think a Jedi? Well, I think I'm messing up my theory right now in my head because you know, Ahsoka says, I choose, I choose to live. Okay. And, you know, he says, you're not, you know, still hope for you yet. You're not too far gone. You know, she remembers how she got where she was. And then of course she, uh, she shows up in the water or she's in the water and she comes back to life or whatever. Um, now we, we see Obi-Wan when he dies and he disappears before Vader hits him. Okay. He chose to die. Yoda pretty much the same. I mean, he's old and he's kind of, you know, but he, he disappears. Luke, you know, whatever you want to say there, he disappears. Is there, if they have a will to move forward, can they move forward? Um, I don't know. See, because Qui-Gon took one of the tests, but then again, Qui-Gon had not got to the point of his training where he could live on, I guess. Uh, just some, some food for thought. But he was with, he was with uh, Obi-Wan and, and uh, Kenobi. Yeah, that's true. As the force it goes, I'm I'm thinking more of just keeping keeping their physical form, prolonging it. I don't. Now we're sliding into dark Plagueis, man. Sorry. <laughs> and he does a head. Oh no, we're not doing that. We're not going to go to opera and watch. Oh, I, for some reason, I was thinking of the opera, and then I was thinking of the bats from uh, Batman Begins uh, when they're at the opera, and it's the best. <laughs> it's a, a mixing worlds. <laughs> it's probably because my buddy Buster sent me a video right before we started, and he posted it in the group of Batman uh, going against Darth Vader. So you need to see that; it's pretty funny. It's good I stuff. Need to watch that. Yeah, yeah. It's got it's got a twist at the end. Just get ready for it. So it's a good twist. Let's see if we got any comments over. <laughs> Everything is changed. Oh, that's right. Sorry, Stuart. We let it. She's Jedi again. That's what I literally said when when uh, that happened. Uh, the training isn't over. Uh, when I see him, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right, Stuart. She is Gandalf the White. Yeah, <laughs> she is. I mean, literally, she's wearing all white. I, yeah, I guess that's how we'll know, you know, if her sabers turn green, maybe. Yeah, right. Why? That's right. We haven't seen her sabers. I wonder. Huh. Maybe they're not white anymore. Hmm. Would there need to be a transition of her sabers, or or is that why would you say she went that from green to white when she left the order? Right. I thought it went from green to blue to white. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think else is right because the ones that Anakin gave her when she came back were blue, and then after Order sixty six, she left them on that planet, and then That's we right. see her in uh, Rebels. She's got the white ones, but it makes you wonder it's though. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah wonder if she'll change i don't know that's a good that's a good thought because i was reading somewhere that um you know when when jedi turns sith or whatever their their crystals pick up on that energy and turn that's what turns them red yeah i've I've read that and there's something about if they they kill like somebody and and they take their kyber crystal that's what turns them red or something i don't know there's probably been a 15 million different things out there. Yeah, I, I think the thing said something like there's no true, no no natural red kyber crystals or something. I don't know. If, I mean, there might be some in the galaxy that's rare, though. Saying what I read, so. Yeah. 
I've heard they had to bleed the crystals, whatever that means. Oh, okay. So it might be a little bit of both. Yeah. Who knows? Hmm. So we find out Ahsoka is now Ahsoka the White. She's all dressed in white. She can't stop smiling. She loves Purgles and she likes uh, country music and likes walks on the beach. And that's pretty much <laughs> she's smart. I, guys, and I'm not trying to make light of this. But I think she may have been high. She was just kind of just always smiling and just she was just oh I mean she's talking to Purgles, you know, uh Wu Tang the it robot. It could have all been an acid trip. It could have all been an acid trip. Yeah, dude, she is just like spaced out crazy. <laughs> so I mean, I realize she's at peace now, and that gives you a joy and all these things. And there's so many spiritual implications we could talk there, but she was just she was, you know, at the beginning of the episode, she's like you said, Jay, she's just kind of disconnected her arms are crossed all this stuff and then now she's like <laughs> oh yeah this is so short crazy. like nervous she always seemed nervous you know what yeah. i mean I'm like, i saw her so eating some like... scooby snacks over there i don't know what was happening she was just having too much fun on the t6 getting ready riding the mouth of a purgle so um yeah, yeah i mean how do, you, how do you not get a little unnerved when that thing is like opening its big spiky <laughs> Yeah. mouth just yeah. wide enough for you to fly in and you have no idea where it's about to take you and she's still standing on the wing like, <laughs> the, the robot had to tell her to come inside <laughs> she's like what okay okay here i go and she sits down i mean she's like walking in and she just plops down and she's like <laughs> well okay. was underwater no telling how long she's without oxygen no that's fair i should <laughs> yeah, there I you sh- go Okay. I should be more sensitive to her plot well, at that you, point. She was in her drugs. She she has she has been oxygen deprived. She is probably suffering from some type of disorder at this point. Uh, until she is fully healed, I need to reserve my comments. Thank you, Mark, for pointing that out. I appreciate it. So for those that are listening, which is probably like three of you, I apologize. <laughs> so. Please be respectful of fictional characters. That's right. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. So. Uh, but Ahsoka the White is now, we don't know where she's going, uh, but she's in a purgle's mouth and she's headed to somewhere far, far away. Um, I did hear, and I listened to the Rebel Force radio guys today in my commute, kind of put them on two times speed. So it was kind of interesting and what I could pick up, but I think either they or one of their callers was talking about this, which is a really good point. What if the purgles, you know, take them to this location, but they take them to where Ezra is where the other groups where Thrawn is. And obviously there's some kind of meetup that happens before the series is over, but that, that'd that be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd be down for that. So um, now my my youngest son will be upset because he doesn't want to see Ezra. He didn't think that guy looks cool at all. He said, I don't want to see that guy. He's terrible. I was like, son, it's a hologram. Give me a break or give the kid a break. No, he looks terrible. He's terrible, Ezra. So that's how we're raising our kids in our house. Trying to make fun of people and they're, oxygen deprived life and other things so all right uh, was there anything else worthy of talking about go ahead mark i was gonna give him the action figure for christmas yeah that's right he'd love that i know that you love action this guy it's actually really cool he has our action figures awesome yeah ellis just happens to have brought one down just oh look at that yeah no, that's a cool one i like him he looks like the one from rebels yeah he is yeah that's pre pre haircut ezra yeah, or he got the buzz cut. So nice before he met the old master. So, uh, let's see what what about uh, what do we got to expect out of Jason? You know, he's obviously mm-hmm. showing force abilities here in lightsabers in the sand. Uh, they mentioned that? that he was Kanan's son. Yeah, they uh, dropped that on us, that. which we knew that, but the casual listener didn't until they heard that, or casual uh, fan didn't. <laughs> Funny, he was wanting to go in the ship. And that was another thing. Ah- Ahsoka, when she uh, she was all in, you know, happy-go-lucky Ahsoka, she says, you've never been on a, a Jedi ship before. And I was like, whoa, she's calling it a Jedi ship. And he's like, oh, that's great. Is there training? Will you train me, uh, Wu-Tang or whatever? And he's like, no. You got lightsabers. Can you build? Yeah, will you train me to build? No. <laughs> Man, he's just like, no, he's a joy, killjoy or whatever, so. That made me laugh when he went. You know, <laughs> I know, right? It was pretty funny, for sure. But yeah. then again, he had so much emotion at the beginning when he's holding Sabine's helmet. 
Oh no! Like I told them to stay together. I was like, "How's a robot like making me feel bad right now?" Yeah, <laughs> well, that's weird. That, yeah, that robot's like thousands of years old. And, yeah, I think you know, the, I think he's more 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 than a robot, maybe yeah. somehow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like you, Mark. When he said they never listen. They yeah. never listen. I was like, dude. I think dude. he was talking about all Jedi at that time, not yeah, just those. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, his, his little uh, his little eye lens are like half like halfway, half mass or something. Yeah. You know, he's like he's you know distraught, he's upset. So yeah. Yeah, he did a lot of blinking in that episode. I remember mm-hmm. thinking, why does a robot blink? It's <laughs> a good question. I, I think that that's just put in there to make people he's around feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. He's one of them. He's more human than or a humanoid type feature. So, all right, let's see. Oh, uh, all right, Manuel, great man. I, I'd sent Manuel some uh, Ewok love, and he just got his boxes. So he was he was uh, celebrating over on the chat. Good brother. All right, well here here we go. What questions remain for the series? Obviously, uh, well you haven't been a part of this, um, Jay. We asked Tommy, and Mark has commented in, and I've commented. What episode do you think we see Thrawn? We're writing it down. They, I think they, it's going to be the last episode. It's going to be episode eight. All yeah. right, so you're in the same camp with Jaime and Mark. I'm saying episode seven. So, all right. Although I wouldn't have been surprised, like I told you, yeah, with it being at theaters, if he didn't, if he had not shown up in episode five. Yeah, they, they were having, they did something big, and they did. I mean, the stuff with oh. Anakin, that's huge. Yeah. yeah, they would have had to done something big, and they they did. But I, I'm like you. That would have been a huge payoff for all of us. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, think, <laughs> I think you know more. I've watched it, and where we're headed, I think you guys are right. I think he's going to be in the last episode. Yeah, I'm going to stay at my seven. But I think he's going to be at the last episode, and then that movie that Filoni's making is going to be pretty much getting trying to get rid of Thrawn. So it's going to be trying to take him out. And I, I'd heard some other guys talking about that as well. So. Um, but yeah, I, and that makes sense uh, from where they're headed. Uh, I will say, uh, Luke was not in this episode, nor was the Mandalorian. So I thought it was going to be Mando when they came around the corner of the cliff and it was Wu Tang right there. Oh, dude, that would have been cool. It's all yeah. silver. I was, oh, yeah. silver. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, it was Mando. He was right. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We just got a, we've got a, mo- a moody uh, robot. That's all. So. Yes. Yeah, I, I think the way this is going, I don't. I'm still sticking with Mando will be in it, but I don't. It's 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 slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. Just the way the storyline's developing, especially since it's play, taking place in the different galaxies now. So, and they yeah. kind of left Mando homesteading with uh, Grogu, you know. Right. He was yeah. kind of up in a cabin. I don't know where you take that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought for sure, and I was just telling the guys, I thought when you brought in Carson Tiva. Because he had connections to all these guys, and we still haven't seen Zeb. You know, he's got to be. Probably know Zeb. I mean, yeah, she's gone now. Yeah. Okay. Well, Zeb was in that one episode of Mandalorian, sitting at the bar. Mm. So he obviously left that uh, that secret planet at some point. So, you think Hera's going to lose her rank as general? I don't know why Hera didn't just quit. I mean, they get they getting all mouthy with Hera. I'd just be like, you know what? Uh, I'm out. Yeah, don't she's already said once a rebel, me. always a rebel. Yeah. Yeah. Don't threaten to take my rank away. I don't need rank. I was doing this before the rebellion even Existed. came. You know, I'll just take yeah. my go, take the ghost and my crew, and we're out. Yeah, we're Splitsville. But she clearly doesn't do that because the ghost is in every Star Wars movie since Rebels came out. So. <laughs> even it was good to see it up close and personal this this episode live action oh for sure it is yeah. even in rogue one it was in rogue one yeah so it was chopper oh that's right i forgot it was in rogue one that's a good catch yeah that's good yeah yeah and Sha- um there was one other thing oh yeah so i'm really hoping the next episode we get i want a lot of uh focus on balin and shin honestly i want to know more of his story i want to know what that's all about i want to you know if they're going to you know, however, if she's going to turn on Morgan or whatever, so he can reveal, you know, what it is that he's trying to do for the, the better of the universe or the. He doesn't power. seem genuinely evil like her. No. You know what I mean? He's got some sort of other agenda. And I would like to know 
what happened to his life. I mean, at some point, um, his his girl there was a Jedi Padawan, I would assume. Yeah. But she's going like Barrow insanity at some point. Dude, I love her character. I'm just gonna be honest. I yeah. think she's just she's just so out there and just like man, she just she's got cool. feelings though. She she was like significantly bothered by her uh partner there getting killed by Ahsoka mm. and whatever the dust guy was. I mean, obviously a creation of the witch, but uh, uh Ricardo saying episode seven, he thinks that's when Thrawn shows up. Manuel saying last episode or in the movie. So I think we'll see well, him. Well, in Ricardo this... is right, honestly, because I'd like to, I don't I don't want it to be a thing where you just see him turn yeah. and face the camera for two seconds in the last episode, and then we got to wait eighteen months for another <laughs> eighteen season months. To try three years, so... maybe three years. You know, I don't know. We got to wait. Uh, <laughs> you know, a season of Boba Fett, a season of uh, Mando, and a season of something else. Skeleton key. <laughs> See, that would fall in line with my whole Force Awakens movie plot oh it'd be just like they traveled all this way they found the lost figure you see him for a second roll credits come back and then he's throwing his lightsaber off <laughs> yeah there it is uh this i mean this let's just be honest this is the i mean granted we don't have the legacy characters well i mean we got anakin's in there now but this is this is more of a line of a sequel trilogy that we we would have enjoyed yeah. you know this what we're getting with you know, with the Mando stuff, obviously with the Ahsoka stuff, this is, I mean, this is good stuff. I i, I hope that Filoni and Favreau, are, you know, basically have the have the keys to the ship yeah. forward. And I think they and, did. And I've, heard, I've heard with them doing this story, especially going to another galaxy, mm-hmm. it's kind of connecting to the sequel trilogy, but it's going in a different direction mm-hmm. to where we don't have to, not everything that's happening in these stories is leading up to seven eight nine it's a whole new uh gotcha so there's galaxy be happening out there the mu- yeah. a multiverse so to speak all right i still i still hold to the fact that what they're going to, i don't know i still feel like this series at some point is going to show us how or give us some idea about how palpatine's back at some point either this or it's going to lead us to something that will i don't know i could be wrong in that but i don't know just the connectivity to this sequel trilogy will find its way into it to, to a degree because they did some of that in Mando season three, you mm-hmm. know, trying to trying to bridge the gap. So we'll see. Did y'all hear anything that was supposed to happen in the world between worlds, as opposed to what they got, what was in it? No, I haven't heard any of that. That, that was that was leaked last year. Okay. And supposedly they recorded and had everything filmed i guess not recorded but had everything ready to go for like alternate scenes throughout star wars history oh and one of them was the uh uh the battle between obi-wan and anakin in episode three except for it was you know obi-wan stayed back or so went with him and it was them two fighting oh supposedly that got filmed and was ready to go and it got leaked out and people started pushing back on it saying we don't want to see that that's you know that's Filoni coming in with his darling female character uh, uh, She's better than Obi-Wan and then huh I hadn't heard that just, yeah yeah I think the one thing you know we've talked about of course I've seen that footage of the Ahsoka and the Darth Maul like figure fighting it's floated around for a while and that may be some of the leak exception was because that was leaked and then it was leaked yeah. that it was taken out of the show. Mm, and we were getting all this Clone Wars stuff, huh. which is what was in it. So, well, what, what we've got's been good. So, I hopefully, I keep it going. Yeah. So, um, you know, again, I, I think the first half of this episode was gold, but then the second half is like, eh, it's the stoned Ahsoka riding in a whale. So, it's whatever. So, but it was, you know, still, that's how she's going to get there. Yeah, uh, just gonna have to catch up with them somehow. So, any other parting shots, thoughts, or comments, gentlemen, as we wrap it up for the night? It's now after 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, Jay just disappeared. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got to get up in the morning, man. You're killing me. <laughs> so, anything else, Mark? Not really. Just kind of. I don't know. I guess I had, I was too hyped for it. So, 
Yeah, I think that's the part we're trying to trying to have low expectations, but every week I feel like we're getting higher expectations. And then, yeah. uh, uh, but I did enjoy the episode after the second or third viewing. So, yeah. but I'm, gonna, now, my, go ahead. I want to see more of uh, Balin and Shin. Yeah, I, I do too. Backstory, and, and apparently, Floney has said that their story continues on past this. Oh, uh, I'd be interesting how they do that with with. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's like Ray Stevenson and Dad. So I think it's that, or they just have more stories they're ready to tell. Yeah, about them. That'd be interesting. Uh, Jay, you got anything else before it cuts out on you again? No, yeah, I just got booted out and came back in. I'm not sure why. You're in the world between worlds. <laughs> I can, I can hear, yeah. I can hear the lightsaber. I'm just excited. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> there were lights in them. I uh, I'm excited. I'm just excited to see where they take it from there because uh, the first couple of episodes. I mean, while I enjoy them, it, it's hard not to enjoy one of your favorite characters, even if the show is not everything you thought it was going to be. It yeah. wasn't everything I thought it was going to be. They kind of redeemed themselves in the last couple of episodes, so I'm psyched to see where where it goes from there. Yeah, be good. So we've got what three episodes left, a lot to be done. So it'd be interesting to see where where they end with uh, the show. So, um, but, but yeah, we've we've got some some time ahead of us. So we'll tune back in on Tuesday night. Um, oh, next week. Uh, and since we got you guys on here, uh, I won't be able to go live. So if it's cool with you guys, we'll jump to two weeks from from tonight and do episode six and seven so that's cool with y'all so if it's not that's what we're still going to do so. <laughs> so i wanted to make you feel like you're a part of the decision so. <laughs> yeah.